Hey there guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is day 11 for Vlogmas and today I thought I would talk about some ways to help others during the Christmas season. Um, as someone who's been on the receiving end of some of that help, I really, really encourage people as best I can to donate if they are able during the season. So for example, donating food to food drives, donating toys to toy drives. Um, it doesn't even have to, you don't have to go and buy brand new toys to donate. You can, but you don't have to. If you're a parent like myself and you have gently used I, like toys that your kids have grown out of, you can donate those 100% and the kids will love them just the same. And food, I mean, if you go through your pantry and you see you've got some cans that you just, you bought and you just kind of haven't used yet, absolutely feel free to donate them. Those don't expire, so they are, they're good to somebody. Or if you're walking down the grocery aisle and you see that cans are on for a really good price and you don't really need any, but you can afford to grab a couple, if you put them in a bag, you can leave them usually at a bin near the door and they usually go straight to the uh, local food bank. So that's one really good way and one really easy way to help out during the Christmas season if you're able. Another thing you can do is, well, here in Canada, we have this thing called Operation Christmas, uh, where we sh where we fill a shoebox and then we do we donate it with a, uh, I think it's a ten dollar donation, and it takes it all the way to a country where they don't really have stuff. So I do believe that this year's ours went to Ukraine, or maybe that was last year, or maybe they go in like chunks. I'm not really sure 100% how it works, um, but I do have friends who have donated it, donated to it in the past. And I've always wanted to fill shoeboxes for kids, but you can fill it with literally school supplies, toys, coloring stuff, um, like books, anything like that. And they're always like, I mean, of course, it's, it's sending a, a gift to a child who didn't have one before. So a big one that I really, really push is to donate to your local animal shelter. And the reason why I really push this is because a lot of people don't really notice how many animals get homed and abandoned during the holiday season. A lot of people will buy their children puppies and kittens and then when the timing isn't good anymore, they just get rid of them like it never meant anything. And unfortunately, ch animal shelters have a really hard time this time of the year. I know that the one where I live is pretty much full at this time of the year, and then the next couple months after Christmas, um, they're just trying to rehome all these animals who are abandoned. So, like, the problem is that, like, puppies and kittens are so cute at first, but, you know, once the, you, the, new, the new kid kind of feeling wears off, it, sometimes they don't even like sometimes families don't even give the animals a chance to learn the proper etiquette and rules of their home before they dump them. Um, I do know that during the very beginning stages of COVID, um, a lot of people were dumping their dogs on the side of the road up in Ontario because they thought that it was able to be um, passed through animals to people. And the fact that so many people were just okay with dropping their dogs off in a ditch. It, it shocked me and it, it frightened me and it depressed me because as someone who has always pushed to help animals in every way I can, knowing so many animals are just being picked up, loved for five minutes and let go, it's not fair. It really isn't. So animal shelters could really use your help this year. So items that they typically will accept are dog food, both canned and hard cat food, both canned and hard, dog toys, cat toys, brushes for grooming, um, any kind of shampoos you might be able to donate because, you know, sometimes they aren't in the best shape when they come into the shelters. Um, but I think the best way you can really help them is if you have space in your home for an extra family member, those puppies and kittens could really use forever homes right now. So it's definitely one way to help is to save an animal from a shelter. Um, rescues are always, it's always an option. So you can donate to children's hospitals. You can either donate financially or you can even donate toys. Um, I did see an article about gaming consoles, which I don't know about that, but I mean if you got them, feel free to try to donate them. If you're not sure, give the hospital a call and see what they accept. Um, 
but that's definitely, you know, when families are going through a rough time, especially with a young one being sick or injured, any little bit of brightness is helpful. So keep that in mind as well. If you don't have the money to spend, one really good idea that I've actually read about in the past was writing Christmas cards and letters to the elderly in nursing homes. A lot of the elderly in nursing homes are left alone, like all the, all the time, but especially at this time of the year. Some of them just need to hear some kindness from somebody they don't know because they're like some people don't visit their family in nursing homes. Um, when my grandpa was in a nursing home back when I was 11 or 12, there was this one lady, I never learned her name, um, but she was in a wheelchair. And every single time I used to go visit my grandpa, she would meet me at the door because she always saw our van pull in. She would meet me at the door, she would come and grab my hand, and she'd walk me around and introduce me to all the nursing staff as her granddaughter. And it didn't bother me because I think even that young, I realized how much she just needed that. Um, and she used to say stuff like, I knew you'd come, and I, I, I've missed you guys so much, and like, thank you for coming to spend the day with me, and I'm like, you're welcome. She was really, really sweet, and it's really sad that like she went through that in the first place. Um, if you live in a place that has a lot of homelessness, um, then you can always donate lunches or, you know, the winter materials that they may need. So mittens, hats, scarves, if you have them, jackets, boots, warm socks. Um, or if you're just out and about one day and you just happen to be going to McDonald's or something like that, you could always grab a couple burgers that you could give to them on your way by. And the last one I have is that if you have a local ki uh, soup kitchen and you're able to donate a couple hours there, that's always very helpful. Um, where I live, as far as I know, we don't have anything like that. But I think that's a, pretty much all of the ideas that I can think of for this year that don't involve like a lot of face-to-face um, otherwise it's like go volunteer in, in animal shelters and go volunteer at hospitals and stuff like that. But, uh, right now it's so, um, everything's so closed up and everything's so distanced. It's really hard to do some of that stuff. But, I mean, there's tons of things, tons of ways you can help if you have the time or the money to do so. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give, leave those little ideas with you. Um. It, I understand not everyone is able to spare change at this time of the year. So anyways, I just wanted to leave those ideas here because I always like the idea of trying to help. Um, and I personally, every single year, I do a donation to the local food bank. And I also just recently donated two huge boxes of Colby's Old Toys. Um, and then I also have donated a large bag of dog food and a large crate of canned cat food to the animal shelter um, because it's just it's there's so many people hurting right now so many people out of jobs um, and honestly the animal shelters um, they'll also help families who can't afford to feed their pets right now um, so if they get enough donations to feed the animals they have on site then if you are having issues keeping up with your bills and feeding your family including your pets generally the animal shelters will help you but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and if you happen to have anything that i missed that you can do to help somebody um feel free to leave it in the comments below um i kind of just came up with this list on the fly I, I i really just wanted to make a video that was inspiring people to help people um this is the time of the year that it's most important it's always important but Christmas it's so 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 important that you know just and think about how you feel to know that you're helping a family to have that meal that they've dreamt about or to you know have that smile on their faces that that everyone should kind of have at this time of the year anyways thank you guys for watching and of course I'll see you tomorrow bye